story to tell. According to the Ukrainian media, a deeply improved version of the country's main battle tank, T-64, will soon appear in the parade, which will be held in Kiev in the near future. One of the most important features of this improved version is a remote control system. In addition to a series of improvements in engines and firepower, Currently, the new version of the T-64 tank will be equipped with a new 6TD-1 engine, which is more powerful than the current 5TDF engine. In addition, the armor system will also be upgraded, helping it to survive on the battlefield against modern anti-tank fire of the 21st century. Ukraine confirmed that the new upgraded version of the T-64 tank being implemented will be the most powerful upgrade ever of this main battle tank. Born in 1963, the T-64 main battle tank was developed by the Morozov Design Bureau of the Soviet Union. Compared to previous tanks in possession of Moscow, the T-64 was superior in every way. Specifically, the tank is equipped with composite armor reinforced with fiber glass, accompanied by a 115mm smooth bore gun, later upgraded to a 125mm gun. This is also the first tank in the world using an automatic loader system, allowing the number of crew members to reduce to only three, driver, commander, and gunner. An improved version was born in 1968 with the designation T-64A, equipped with thicker armor and a 125mm main gun. The T-64A was also considered a revolutionary version. It blurred the line between medium and heavy tanks. The T-64A had thick armor and firepower like a heavy tank, but was as maneuverable as a medium tank. It can be affirmed the T-64A was the first tank in the world to fit the definition of man battle tank, instead of the tank classification based on weight as in the past. The next improved version, the T-64B, was released in 1976. The T-64 continued to create a revolution when it became the first tank in the world able to fire missiles through the main gun. Deeply improved versions of the later T-64 tank were even rated on par with the T-80 or T-84 tanks, far ahead of the original T-72 versions. A few outstanding features of the T-64 compared to the T-72 for example, the automatic loader system of the T-64 were completely hydraulic, not using electricity, so it was more reliable. The interior space was larger. The suspension was more flexible. The magazine was in a safer position. The commander had better visibility, etc. The feather wings of the T-64 tank, it was more expensive and more complex. Therefore, this type of tank was only stuffed 
for the light forces. It was not until the T-72 version, the Soviet Union balanced performance and price, creating a successful man battle tank line to this day. My video about the T-60 for a man battle tank answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.